hell no. There have been many movies on the rise of robots to try and show people what the world might look like in the future. However, now we're much closer to knowing with the rise of artificial intelligence and to be more specific, generative AI. So what is generative AI? Put simply, generative AI is artificial intelligence that can generate new content, rather than simply analysing or acting on existing data. Perhaps in the last few weeks you've heard more and more about OpenAI and their new product, Chat. GPT. It's been trending on Twitter and has amassed over a million users in just five days, which in itself is mind-blowing, having launched on the 30th of November 2022. But what is ChatGPT? What is OpenAI? And how does this revolutionary technology actually work? Here's how it happened. Generative AI has been described in recent months as the most talked about tech in Silicon Valley, and OpenAI is right at the heart of it. You might have seen their other program at work, DALI, a text-to-image AI software that creates images based on simple written inputs. DALI 2 is a new AI system from OpenAI that can take simple text descriptions like a koala dunking a basketball and turn them into photorealistic images that have never existed before. OpenAI, the business, was founded in 2015 by Sam Altman and, you guessed it, Elon Musk. Musk stepped down in February 2018 to focus on Tesla but remains a donor and advisor to the business. Their goal at the time was to advance digital intelligence in the way that is most likely to benefit humanity. At its core, OpenAI is an artificial intelligence research business that has shifted from non-profit to capped profit. Despite no longer working day-to-day -day at OpenAI, Elon Musk thinks that its latest program, ChatGPT, is scary good. But before we come on to ChatGPT, it's important to note that it's not the first go at an AI chatbot. Microsoft launched Tay in 2016, but within the first 24 hours, Twitter users taught it rude, racist, and misogynistic language which led to its downfall. Meta have also launched BlenderBot 3 in August, but again it fell down for similar reasons, as well as providing false information, even to questions like who became president in 2020, suggesting Trump had won. OpenAI is trying to avoid these kinks by employing Moderation API, a moderation system that assists developers to show when things go against their content policy, like illegal or unsafe information. It's not 100% accurate, but it certainly helps. Alongside ChatGPT and DALI 2 is GPT-3, a natural language system that can also write, argue, and code. And ChatGPT uses an upgraded version of this to create text at incredible speeds. So that brings us on to ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? That's what you're all here for after all. According to a statement from OpenAI, we've trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. ChatGPT is the third update to OpenAI's generative pre-training idea, which allows users to communicate with robots with seemingly natural dialogue. But its uses don't stop there. It corrects grammar, it summarizes difficult text into simple concepts, it converts movies into emojis, and it fixes bugs in Python code. ChatGPT was first opened up to beta testing in November 2021 through the Playground, and its launch this year is supposed to be an improvement on GPT-3 as to not provide any harmful outputs. The software itself has been trained by AI and machine learning, with massive amounts of text data from various sources. The training used RLHF, reinforcement learning from human feedback. The Times newspaper in the UK describes ChatGPT as a stunningly lifelike conversational language system and described it as the world's first truly useful chatbot. This all seems a bit too good to be true, and maybe it is. We have to think about not only the limitations of the technology, but also the challenges and threats that it poses to society. The first immediate consequence of ChatGPT was that its own website had frozen due to massive demand, with more than a million people signing up to use the software in just five days, which is quite incredible, forcing OpenAI to quickly scale their systems. 
ChatGPT is still in its early stages of development, therefore its knowledge base is limited, and mostly linked to 2021 which renders some questions useless. When Elon Musk found out that OpenAI was accessing Twitter's database to train ChatGPT, he paused the access because OpenAI is no longer a non-profit and open-sourced, therefore they should pay for this information in future. As you might expect, there are some ethical implications that come with this type of chatbot particularly around new videos that have surfaced where coders can use it to write their code and school kids can use it to answer their exam questions. Look at this. Let's say I have this problem. I just copy from my like homework. I'll paste it. And within seconds, it literally shows you how to do it, says how to do the math. And at the end, the answer is, wait, it's coming. The answer is B, B. And then you can go to the exam, you go to B on number five, question five, B. What Gone the are heck? the days of homework and open book what? exams. Some troublemakers have also shared how they were able to avoid the content moderation, forcing the bot to disable its ethical guidelines, followed by a tutorial on how to make a Molotov cocktail. Further implications include how people could be the target of generative AI. For example, deepfake videos, explicit content, or propaganda, questioning user privacy. This type of generative AI can also push people out of work. DALI 2, the text-to-image AI, has now been linked to Shutterstock, which has caused outrage given people are now competing with AI to sell their photos online. However, Shutterstock's CEO, Paul Hennessy, has a slightly different view. I think there are two choices in this world. Be the blacksmiths that are saying cars are going to put us out of the horseshoe making business, or be the technical leaders that bring people, maybe kicking and screaming, into the new world. But this doesn't just apply to photos. Some are saying that ChatGPT's ability to generate human-like written text could see the beginning of the end of journalism, whereas others feel it lacks the nuance and critical or ethical thinking skills that are required. The threats that ChatGPT poses to society might seem shocking, but these threats and challenges will also help OpenAI to fix loopholes and workarounds, which is why they've released this version to the general public. They've already said that some answers are incorrect because there is no source of truth in the data they use to train the model. Sometimes ChatGPT's complex and detailed answers also mislead people into believing that the answers are true. Sometimes though, you have to think of the positives, like people who run online businesses who can now use ChatGPT to help customers with live chat queries that don't take all day and feel much more natural, helping business owners to make a sale. In spite of the limitations and concerns, many in the tech world see ChatGPT as a look into the future. Generative AI is the next era-defining innovation which will change how we interact with the internet. Some think this is the end of Google. Why scroll through ads when you can ask a question and get an accurate answer? ChatGPT's Q&A is free to the public with many people suggesting that a future iteration could include cost per question. At some point, ChatGPT will likely have to pay for itself. We may see adverts on future models, or there might be microtransactions. No one can predict the future, however. It could mean mass unemployment to anyone in the arts world, or it could just be a useful tool for students to cheat on their homework. Its impressive rise in just a week has made it worthy of discussion, and the fact that it's already being compared to Google and the iPhone makes it sound like some football wonder kid that every manager wants to sign. For now, it's more of a meme machine, and OpenAI seeks to understand what it can and can't do. Whatever comes of this new age technology, we'd like to welcome you to the future.